What's going on guys? Welcome back to Life by the Bow. Happy you guys are here joining us again. Obviously today we're in the bay boat and what I love about the bay boat is it just simplifies absolutely everything. So we're gonna run offshore, we're gonna do some mahi-mahi fishing and then as of right now things are kind of heating up. We're gonna hop in the water, do some snorkeling and after that we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna clean up our fish, bring them upstairs, put together a new recipe for you guys. So I'm really excited. It is a beautiful day down here in the Florida Keys. And this is definitely not a video you wanna miss. So I know you guys probably think I go fishing every day, but the ugly truth is, is I haven't fished in over a week. And we just pulled up to one of my bait spots and we just saw a huge school of pilchards. So finding the bait first thing in the morning is super rewarding because sometimes, you know, we'll spend hours just trying to catch bait. So really what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to lock them back in so we can hopefully put a throw on them because man, if we had some live pilchards today, that would completely change the game for us. Oh dude, murked him. <laughs> oh yep, 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 yep. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> So we just made it to the Isla Mirada hump here. And for those of you that don't know, the Isla Mirada hump is probably about 15 miles offshore, give or take. And we're in a relatively small boat to be 15 miles offshore. So it's always fun doing something like this because your adrenaline kind of pumps because we're in a single motor boat, not to mention our boat's pretty small. So if the weather picks up, you know, we're always kind of putting ourselves at risk. And for those of you that watch a lot, you probably know we have a 39 foot center console. So you're probably thinking too, you know, why are you out here in such a small boat if you have such a big boat? And really it all comes down to ease. I mean, it's just so easy taking this boat out here solo. So whenever the weather's nice and glass calm, I always love taking this boat because as mentioned, you know, it's easy. So the workload is just so low. And a lot of the times I'll catch more fish in this boat versus the big boat. And I think we just got dropped. Come on, man, really? Oh, we got him. Fish on, we got something here, baby. <laughs> so, Oh, Mahi, we got a dolphin on. We got a dolphin, look at that. <laughs> so as we were just saying, you know, here at the Island Rada Hump, you can catch tuna, you can catch Mahi, sailfish. And what do you know, we got a Mahi Mahi on the live chum. And this is really simple fishing, guys. Really the hardest part about it is catching the bait. And obviously we got that first thing this morning. So, you know, this time of year, if you come out here with some live bait, man, you can typically always catch something. And this looks like a really nice mahi-mahi. I'm pretty pumped. I was not expecting that at all. Really, the reason why this place is so productive 
the Island Marotta Hump is because it's basically like an underwater uh, mountain, I guess so to speak. And the Gulf Stream current that we have down here in the Florida Keys, it flows from south to north. So it's flowing to the north. And when that current flows, it goes over the top of the mountain and then that water is pushed up and therefore a lot of bait congregates here. So this is the perfect place to catch these sport fish. And not to mention the one that we have on right now tastes absolutely amazing. I hope we can get him to the boat, man. It looks like a nice mahi. So unfortunately, due to the fact that I'm solo here, I don't have anybody to gaff this fish and I'm using a 30 pound leader. So I got to make sure to be really careful with him. So I think what I'm going to try to do, woo, there it goes, there it goes, about to jump, about to jump. <laughs> that is awesome. So this should be interesting based on how we're actually going to get him into the boat. So let's see it. See if I can pull on the fish and gaff him at the same time. <laughs> oh man, what do I get myself into? <laughs> Come on, man. How about that? Gaffing, fighting, catching. That's a nice bull mahi right there. Look at those colors, man. I mean, it does not get any more beautiful than a mahi mahi. You know, as we've mentioned in a lot of our other videos, you know, this is our favorite fish to catch. And the fact that it's 7.30 in the morning and we've already caught one, if I keep on sitting here and talking, we can't catch any more. So we're gonna throw him in the box. Gosh, man, what a beautiful fish. So we're coming up on a couple birds right here. It's actually birds all the way around the boat. And the fact that they're staying in one spot, I'm pretty confident that they're on some mahi-mahi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up on them and we're gonna throw out some live baits just like we were doing earlier. Throw out a freebie. Hopefully we'll get tight, baby. Oh, mahi, mahi, dolphin. Got him, woo -hoo! Got him, baby. Watch how fast this is gonna be. <laughs> Come on, just like that. That's why you gotta get him in quick, cause you'll pull the hook. So we just stopped the boat, and right now we're doing a technique called running and gunning. And basically what we're doing is we're just running in the boat, you know, getting at the optimal cruising speed so we're not burning too much gas. Um, but at the same time, you do burn a lot of gas doing this just because you're constantly running in the boat. But what we're doing when we're running in the boat is we're looking for big patches of weeds just like this. Um, we're also looking for birds. And the reason why we're looking for birds and seaweeds specifically together is because that's life. You know, whenever you can find signs of life out here fishing, typically always means fish. Now on a day like today, there's definitely an abundance of seaweed, so not every patch you're going to pull up to um, is gonna have a fish on it, but you wanna kinda do your due diligence and just hit whatever looks good. And I can promise you, you know, if you spend enough time out here doing this, you will catch at least a fish. So we're coming up on a group of birds right here, guys, and as you can see, got a little bucktail on there, 50 pound leader. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the spinning rod, cast it way back there, I'm just gonna do one rod just so that way it's more manageable. So we're gonna put this way back, lock it up, see who's hungry. Fish on, baby. Kind of seems to be staying up on the surface, which is what makes me think it's a mahi. But as you can see here, I still got the boat in gear. And the reason why I have the boat in gear is just to keep this line as tight as possible. Because especially when you're using bucktails, you know, they're a weighted lure. So whenever that fish comes up and jumps and they start shaking their head, it's very likely that you can lose them if you're not keeping constant tension. And it seems like we got a mahi, baby. There we go, I'll take it. So, so far you've seen us catching them live chumming, trolling, 
We're going over all the basics today here, man. Talk about mahi fishing 101. God, what a beautiful fish, look at that. So one thing about mahi, guys, is you'll notice, you know, this is a relatively small fish here, so we don't need to gaff them. And whenever you need to flip a fish into the boat, it's always best to have your fish box open. So that way, come up, go straight in, and that's it. Now you have no mess to clean up. Look at how that lure just came right out. Living in the Florida Keys, it is a really unique lifestyle. I mean, there's not too many places in the world where you can just walk into your backyard, you know, hop onto your boat, go offshore fishing, dive the third largest barrier reef in the world. And then you come back here and you just end it all off in a setting like this. So the fact that everybody watches these videos and you know, you guys like the videos and you comment, that's what makes this entire thing thrive. So, you know, I really want to hear from you guys, you know, write down in the comments, tell us what you think about the channel. Tell us things that we can do to make the channel better overall, because that's what I'm all about. I'm all about progressing. I'm all about getting better. And, you know, ultimately I want to give you guys exactly what you want. So what do we have on the menu tonight? Cause I know it looks like you're whipping up something good. Yes, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grilling mahi and adding a balsamic tomato salad on top. And if you guys wanna find this recipe, just look in the description below and it'll give you all the directions on how to do it. So what are you going to add? What do you like about this recipe specifically to where it caught your attention to make? So, I really like basil and tomato and parmesan and mahi and balsamic. <laughs> so basically all of the things. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome combination. <laughs> it is, it is. So let's put it together and let's see how it tastes. Let's do it. Look, Riley wants a piece. Wow, that pairs very nicely. Most importantly, because 
Dolphin, so Mahi good. Mahi. Here you go, Riley. You can have a piece. It tastes just like chicken. I mean, you can just look at it and you can just see how white mm -hmm. the actual fish is. But just another unbelievable day in our backyard. We got something really good coming up for you guys here shortly. We're packing up the 39, we're going over to the Bahamas. So we got a Bahamas video coming for you guys. That's right, that's why I couldn't make it today. I'm saving up all my energy for that Bahamas trip. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it's gonna take to get her over there. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun today, but. We'll see you guys next week, bye.